What's up guys, Sean here aka Yama Flying Midget. Welcome back to the Lumber Tycoon series, dudes. I've got a legit freaking conveyor system to show you guys. I'm actually really excited because I haven't actually tested it yet. So I'm really hoping it does really well and and, and hopefully makes me look good on, in this video. Why do these look like they're not connected, by the way? I just spotted that. Hold on, let's look on this side one more time. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys this super epic... They don't look like they're connected perfectly. Maybe that's just like what they're supposed to look like. They do not look like they're connected perfectly, but... It should still work nonetheless, so I think we'll be fine, but that looks really weird. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys this super epic uh, kind of conveyor system. I'm really excited for it. Again, it's not done. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but it's actually pretty insane. The idea behind it is really sick, um, and I'm literally just so stoked to kind of like continue on it and see what you guys think about it, so let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are liking this series, smash that like button, but all right, here we go. So let me show you guys kind of the, the idea behind it. So you're probably like, Major, why do you have two? And then why do they end up going into one? It's just like you can get more wood. You can't get more wood on, on a conveyor because you're going to have to actively have to, you know, drop one, drop one, drop one. Well, I've been thinking outside the box here. And what we're going to actually be doing, it's not done yet and we won't be doing it. It won't be done today. Um, but pretty much what we're going to be doing, guys, is building a little bit of a ramp. So if you guys can kind of picture this with me, imagine this all full of wood, right? All full of wood. All we got to do is we're going to back it up like this. And it's going to go up on like a legit ramp. Like like a wood ramp. Alright, so it's going to be like a wooden ramp. Not like conveyors. It's going to be a wood ramp. It's going to back us up. So we're going to be about this high. It's going to put us pretty much right over those conveyors. So we're going to back the car up right over those conveyors. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop out the car. So remember, the, the car would be full of wood. It'd be kind of on a ramp that's right above these conveyors. Um, like very skinny ramp. There'll be, there'll be like a little thing in the middle, a little things on the side. Kind of like i got to back it up and, and be all legit with it. But then, um, you know, with, with, the, with the truck kind of being right there, we'll come over here and we'll literally be like, all right, and respawn. And we'll respawn it and then... This, this truck would disappear and all the wood that was in it will fall down and land on these conveyors, right? How genius is that? Yeah, we're going to get some that might fall in here, so I might put in some wedges that are sticking up and that are kind of like pushing wood to the side or I don't know. We're going to see if we can kind of finagle that. But um, then like lots of wood will just fall right here. We're going to put some sides and stuff too because wood will be going everywhere. Um, and then it's going to go into these two sawmills right here, these saw maxes. And pretty much that's going to be super efficient, right? Like we're going to have so much wood going through. We're going to have two just cranking them out, cranking them out, cranking them out into planks. And then once they're into planks, they're going to be going along here. So this bottom one will go here. This one will go here. Uh, pretty much the goal of it is to just get it all on one conveyor system. Oh, what's good, boy? Um, all on one conveyor system. And then once it's all on one conveyor system, again, more walls and stuff right here to make sure all the wood is funneled in the right way. Um, but once all the wood is on here, then we come over to this guy, which I'm not really quite sure. Oh, this one's backwards too. I'm not really quite sure. Um... If I'm going to keep this thing here or not, because this thing is, is usually not the best. Like, right there it worked. But if you get a wood that goes directly in the middle, it sometimes just gets stuck. Sometimes it just gets stuck just like that, and it's really annoying. Um, but pretty much we're going to have this on an automatic kind of button, so you don't have to always come over here. Um, and probably end up wiring it somewhere to where we drop the wood off. But basically what, what we're doing, and we're going to actually be continuing it today. So why don't I actually grab this guy first then? Um, if you guys aren't uh, aren't keeping up with the series, I did a video on um, on this specific piece right here, what this is and what it does, and I'll show you in a second if I can get it to line up properly. Uh, but this is a conveyor furnace, so basically, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, really, man? You're really not going to line up for me? But basically what this, I don't know if it all, it should fit, but um, basically, oh, there we go. Oh, that was it. Tease it, tease it, tease it, score. Score. Basically, what this thing is, dudes, if you're wondering, like, Midget, what the heck is that thing? It's basically a furnace. So, that's the beauty of this system, and I'm so stoked for this, because we're going to be able to make some super epic stuff. Um, we don't need, so what my original plan was like, alright, well, we'll use that saw max for, like, cashing in wood, and this one for building. We can use them both for the same thing. We can be like, alright, you know what, we really need money right now? Alright, fine, they're both going into here. And basically, all the wood will be funneled in right here, and instead of us building a ramp up, trying to get it in the back of a truck, driving it down to the furnace cell area, and selling it there, we literally just have it all sold on our base. It just, like, goes in here, goes in here, goes like this, and it all gets sold right here. And then, bam, we're done. And then if we're like, you know what, we have a lot of money, but let's go ahead and start building. You switch this lever, and it's all going to be going this way into our storage compartments. But we're actually adding in more stuff today. I actually need to go to the store and grab a few more straight conveyors. Do I need anything else? If I get some straight conveyors right there... Um, I also am going to need another saw max. That's what I need. Okay. All right, so we're going to grab a saw max and, like, two or three or, or four conveyors, something like that. 
Um, and pretty much, guys, the, the, the beauty of this is that we've got so many, you know, let me actually back this in. We've got so many, like, like cool things we can do because of the, like, very few new pieces. There aren't that many new conveyor pieces. I mean, there's that thing, which we'll get into in a little bit, um, which I'm about to show you guys. We actually need to buy one of these guys. But yeah, th there's this thing, which I bought, and I'm going to show you guys what it does in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of, like, new pieces. There's, there's, I think that, I think that's literally the only new piece in terms of conveyors. And I'm like a big conveyor dude, so like the more conveyor pieces, with the the more stuff you can do is like just oh, it's amazing. Um, but I feel like yeah, that might be the only new piece right there, and then obviously the the cell furnace which is right there, and I think that that is literally um, the only new pieces. But that opens the possibilities, guys, to do so much, and that's the beauty of Lumber Tycoon. You don't need tons of things in the game for you to be able to be like, all right, we could do so much with this. One or two pieces here and there, and you can do so many new things, which is why I'm just like. Dude, updates on Lumber Tycoon would literally just be, like, the best thing in the world. But, um, we make do with what we got. Like, one piece here will be able to do some really cool stuff. And I'm going to show you guys it in a little bit. And, and I'm not quite sure, because we, we haven't, li we literally have not filled in, like, a single blueprint in this game. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Um, but on this save or whatever, we literally have not filled in a single blueprint. So, I'm not quite sure how the building works. Is it maybe, like, everyone has the superpower creativeness? Or, um, or is it kind of like we got to go unlock it somewhere? I'm not really quite sure yet, but um, either way, we're going to be able to get it, and um, and it's going to make, dude, our lives are going to be amazing. You guys are about to be blown away, trust me. And this is all if this works. If this doesn't work, this is about to be really awkward because I have not tested it with wood yet. But all right, we're going to grab, I'm going to grab one more of these guys. This guy should be spawning like right now. There we go. Um, I'm going to grab one more of these dudes. I'm going to snag this guy, and then we're going to head back and then um, pretty much finish the system besides the ramp that's going to be going up. Um... Because the ramp is, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to, I'm going to have to gather a lot of wood for that and place some blueprints down and do all that stuff. I got to unlock a lot of the blueprints too. Um, but that is going to be, that is going to be really good because um, we're going to be able to drop like tons of wood at once. All right, let's just go ahead and place these things on the ground for right now. Um, open, place, open, place, all these guys. All right, so pretty much what, what the goal is right here, what I'm, what I'm going to be doing, dudes, is um, I first off just need this to be going forward a little bit. Um, and I want, yeah, I want it like that, and I want you to line up perfectly, there we go. Um, I'm gonna have this guy go forward probably till there, I, we don't really need it going forward like a ton. Um, so, or, or I could do one more. Let's go ahead and do, should I do one more? I mean, I could not do one, and it could, it could look actually really sick. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move this guy back, and we'll place a sawmill right here. Um, that way all three of these sawmills will be completely lined up, I think. And that's actually kind of cool. Actually looks really cool if it if it does all line up. Does it line up? Although I don't like how that how that is. We could all, move all this back one to make sure that all these line up because this is definitely gonna need a straight. Because you're gonna get some that are gonna stick like right there. They're just gonna get stuck right there. So you're definitely I'm definitely gonna want to get some another piece right there. But I really do like how the sawmills line up. Um, so I feel like I should move all that back. You know, what? all right, we're gonna move that back one sec. Voila! That actually did not take me that long to do. Go ahead and turn these guys back, flip them, flip them all right, get you going that way, we need you going that way, guy. Um, that actually did not take me that long to do, and now that this thing is right here, we got a little, like, straight piece right before it goes into this furnace, so it really shouldn't get, I mean, things are gonna get stuck in lumber, this is lumber tycoon, alright, what, what are we saying? Things will get stuck, um, but I'm just hoping that it gets stuck less often now. Alright, so that looks pretty good right there, and that way these things will go this way, into that sawmill, and it's not perfectly lined up it's because it's it's flipped it's facing the other way but you know you gotta do what you gotta do um so pretty much the reason i did that you guys are probably like why are you getting a why are you why are you turning planked wood into more planked wood because of this right here so this guy is gonna go over here and you guys are like midget what the heck is that thing how the heck did you get that thing what the heck is going on um this is actually in the in the store again guys this is the modded lumber um uh, but pretty much the sawmill setting has to be 1.6 by 1.6 to fit perfectly in this um in this little wood chopper and it's basically a one by one chopper so and i have not tested this or used it yet but this is ideally kind of what i'm thinking is is what what you gotta do so one by six by one by six so these are the biggest possible because i set them to the biggest possible because that means Less length is on the um less length is on the conveyor. The the fatter you can make them and, and like you know the less length you have on them, the less they get stuck and get jammed up and start clogging up wood. Um so I want these pieces really fat and big just because they're like either selling them or they're going into here, which are gonna be our perfect length to go into this chopper right here, which is kind of the goal because these are gonna per turn them into one by ones. Um I'm assuming one by ones. Um because it is a uh I forget what is this thing even like called? It's called auto chop, auto chop. So I'm assuming it's going to be one by ones because that's kind of what you need. Um, but yeah, and then that's going to be like literally just money. And I wonder if I actually have to ramp this up. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to ramp it up a little bit because uh let's see. Whoa, what's what's this do? Whoa. Wait, whoa, you could turn directions. How the heck do you do that? I guess you could just like stop them from going in there and they just get like all clogged up. That's actually kind of cool. Let's stick one in here real quick. I want to see I want to see what's pop -a locking I want to see what's pop -a locking with this thing because I really have not used it or really know anything about it. I just assumed that it was kind of like a little one-by-one -one thing. All right, we're going we're gonna to drop you in there. So that should... Oh, rip. Well, I need it to go through there anyway, and then I'll stick it in there manually. And I don't know what this thing is going to do. I might need to elevate this a little bit, and that way I can actually get the wood that are coming out of this onto another conveyor. But let's see. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So it should, get, should stop right there. There we go. And then hit this guy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Does that do anything? Oh, do I have to like keep it on? I probably just need. Oh, this probably just needs power. Like, just always needs power. Okay, so it does chop it. Um, but yeah, you def. We definitely need to get it get it ramped up a little bit. But then it'll kind of fit through there nicely. Okay, nice. And I don't know if that's like a perfect. That's definitely not a one by one. But it does chop it up kind of nicely, which could be um, which could be good for building. I don't know. Again, we haven't gotten the superpower or really done any building yet, so I don't really know. I don't really know what um, what you're supposed to be doing. But I know that this is in the game for a reason, and that's kind of why we have it on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually. Oh, that's why they have this in, so you can get it out. Ah, very smart. Very, 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 very smart. Okay, so we're going to need to get a quick little ramp just to get it up a little bit. Get it off the ground. I mean, this is going to be kind of off the ground, but you want it off the ground a little bit more. So we need to go grab a quick ramp, and then once it's ramped up, um, we should be able to put the other straights. I think I'm really only going to need one ramp. I, I think I will I will only need one ramp, but I guess we're going to find out. Should I grab two just in case? Uh, I really, I hate, I hate load, I hate buying stuff in here, like, when you have to buy in bulk, because it takes forever, you gotta walk all over the counter, and then you gotta go through, yes, 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 and then put it in your truck, it literally takes forever to just buy, like, tons of these things, like, sure, when you just gotta buy one, yeah, no, it takes, like, what, 20 seconds, but when you gotta buy, like, 10 of them, you're like, oh my god, I'm waiting, like, I'm, I'm spending, like, 15 minutes just buying things, I'm not even building, alright, we're just gonna buy two, because we're here, might as well, might as well, alright, so we'll buy these two, um, we should really only need one, but I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I like how hardcore we mob in these cars, though. Like, skr, skr. I really like them. Like, it literally just makes the game way more fun that these cars are, like, super fast and super awesome looking. All right. We're going to go ahead and, and place you right there for now. We'll just kind of place you over here. I probably won't need you. But I do need to have one coming straight first because I don't want these things getting stuck. I should actually do two going straight, to, to be completely honest with you. I should do one right there. Is that even connected? Yep, that looks connected. All right, nice. I should actually do two. Um, that way that, because I don't know how long these things are going to get. They're probably going to actually get pretty long. Um, and, you know, you don't want you don't want it to go up before it's out of the uh, out of the saw max because then it's going to get stuck. And it's going to get stuck, and it's all about just making sure wood does not get stuck. That's what this game is all about. Just trying not to get wood stuck. All right, boom, right there. So that should look pretty good. That should definitely be enough, and we're not going at a super high incline. So this should, in theory, be enough. But if I have to add another piece in there, I definitely can. All right, so now I got to get this guy to line up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam! All right, there we go. So that should be, that should be good. That that it, in theory that should be good, but I guess we're gonna find out. I am gonna do one more straight though because I don't want it to again get all kind of messed up coming out of here. Um, so I could do, I should actually do two more straight, but I think, oh no, I got two. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and do two more straight on here. Um, I'm gonna rotate you right there. Nice. Um, and we'll do one more going straight because um, you want the wood again to level out. And that should definitely be enough height, um, which means I'm going to need more more straight conveyors to actually do like stuff with the wood once it's out of that thing. But this is just this is just making sure the preliminary setup to this thing is done because I still got to build the ramp. And th this system is going to be pretty legit, guys. Seriously, I'm, I'm stoked for it. The possibilities with this stuff is pretty crazy. All right, so now this should be, this might be really hard to line up. Or it might just sink in place perfectly. Oh, nope, needs to go up higher, which is good, which is good. We want it, if anything, higher the better, because that means we have more room on the other end. Is that is that good? I can't tell if that's actually lined up. I mean, it is like, it is going to work. It's obviously a little bit lower, so it is going to work, but I don't know if that's exactly lined up. That, that'll work, though, because that means that, here, we can use this as a placeholder right now. We can use this guy as a placeholder. Place you right there. Is that as, no, you could definitely go in, I think, a little bit further. Maybe you can get that thing to go in further, because pretty much you're gonna we're gonna have to. Which means we either gotta ramp it up more or these this guy needs to go underneath there, which I don't really know if this guy's gonna do it. But maybe one of the normal conveyors will. Um I'm not really quite sure, but yeah, we're gonna need one to go pretty much directly underneath that. And I could actually snag one from over here and see if it'll see if it'll do anything. I mean I guess I could just snag one of these guys real quick. Let me let me see let me see what's Gucci again, because this might oh dude. 
We are in the freaking clear, boys. We are in the clear. Look at how nice that is. That is actually clean. We'll just grab another one for this guy. But pretty much wood's going to go through here. Going to get chopped. Going to come down here. And then bang, bang. Bang, bang, ski, ski. We're good to go. All right, let's test this thing. Let's go ahead and let's chop a, let's, let's chop a tree down. Let's chop a tree. Let's see, let's see what's happening. Again, we don't have the... Um, oh, I got a freaking lightning axe. What's good? Um, we don't... Um, we don't have, like, obviously the ramp built, so we can't really test it with the car just yet. But we can test the actual functionality of, like, the of, of the conveyors, which I think are going to be pretty legit. I don't know. We'll see. Again, guys, let me know what you guys think about this system down below. Are there areas where I can improve it? Are there areas where you're like, Midget, that is so sick. I really appreciate that kind of stuff. All right. I'm just going to put one right there because I want to try to simulate this as best I can um, by having both these going at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ski, ski. Wait. I'm going to do this guy first since this is a little bit longer. All right, there we go. So that's pretty pretty spot on. I'm just going to keep loading these up. We're just going to see what happens. We're just going to see what happens. Hopefully hopefully, good things. I'm hoping for good things. I got, I got good things in mind for this uh, for this system. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't get jammed. Don't get jammed. Come on. I'm, I'm filming. I don't want to embarrass myself like I did yesterday. Come on. All right, bam. And, and bam. And then we'll throw this guy on, and hopefully things are looking good. All right. How are we looking? Oh, man. The system's looking sick. The system is looking sick, dudes. It is working without even having the walls in. This is what I'm... See, this right here is probably what I'm going to end up changing. I'm probably going to end up changing this because I know that this system is always going to be glitchy and just, like, getting stuck in there. And, and these kind of things, you can't really... Can't, there's not much you can do about that. But, dudes, it's, like, working. I mean, so wood's going to get wood's gonna get jammed. That is a thing. But, Wow. This is actually so legit. And then this guy obviously needs to get some power in here. I need to, I need to power him up. Ooh, why isn't it going in? Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, so this is a little bit higher. Okay. So what we could do is literally just make these a little bit smaller. Like, I could just go on the height. I could make it 1.4. And that will probably fix our problem. Um, Here, let's, let's just shove this guy back in there. That'll probably fix it. But what I really want is this to be super flush. And I knew it wasn't. And we could get it super flush, but, oh, you know what, I actually, I can tell it's definitely not flush. It could definitely go higher. Okay. Okay, I get you. 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 But actually, pretty legit. Oh, yeah, and it definitely won't come out. All right, so, yeah, we definitely need to fix that thing. It will go up, though, so that is that is a plus. I mean, it definitely will go up. I just didn't get it. I just didn't, didn't get her lined up. Didn't get her. Oh, you know, I'm going to probably have to move this. I didn't get her lined up. But, dudes, that system is actually a lot better than I thought. I mean, this is what I was worried about over there was making sure all those don't just get all messed up. I didn't even add any, any walls or anything yet. And it's all looking it's all looking pretty gosh darn good. I can't tell if this thing is, like, lined up. Like, that looks way too high. It's because it is. It's because it is. It's because it is, midget. All right, I feel like I might need to. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think that's it either. Now, I might need to place something, like, below it. I might need to place, like, a placeholder or, like, some supports and get it, like, super lined up. Because, like, that's too high. This thing this thing might just be... You just, you just literally... I can't see it. Oh, unless that's it. Oh, I had it. Oh, I had it. Is that it? Did I nail it? Oh, dude, I think that's it. Oh, nice. All right, sick. So, I think we got it all good to go. And that makes... This means that we have a little bit more room under here, which is... Didn't really need it after that, but it still looks good. Still looks good. Looks good, good. Good, good, boys. Good, good. So now I can actually move this back up to 1.6, and we can get some of this wood going in here. Get some of that wood going in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to actually throw some over here because we don't need all this wood coming out of here. Go ahead and throw that in there. Um, here we go. So this should fit pretty pretty good now. Oh, yeah. Oh, fits like a glove. Fits like a freaking glove. Oh, my goodness. Literally, that is about as perfect as you're going to get in terms of in terms of kind of getting building blocks going. That is so nice. All right, I love this. I love this. This is literally like the best system I think I've ever built, and it's so simple. It's so simple, and it looks good, and it looks good, dudes. I mean, we've obviously, we're going to clean it up a little bit, make sure that this this thing kind of thing doesn't really get all messed up. I'm thinking, honestly, we could even use this guy right here, um, which kind of makes them all come in like this way, and then you could pretty much just turn them, and I can, I can just make the cell thing go forward. We could do that. It looks cooler this way, I think. Um, and it is just, uh, it is just really sick. I like that. And you can just switch this really easily and it's no big deal, but that does get a little bit stuck. So I don't know, maybe what I'll have to do is just make sure that they're not in the middle. So I'll have to do like a thing that either pushes them to the side this way or push them to the side the other way. I don't know. Or I could even, I can even just do another ramp, um, and kind of go that way. But, dudes, I'm impressed with this. This is legit. This is a really nice looking and clean system. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I really like this. We're going to improve on it a little bit. Build that little ramp. 
and kind of make it even better. But if you guys are enjoying this series, let me know in the comments down below. Smash that like button. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm a fly. Yeah. Bitch, hit it, spit it, kill him with the rhythm, spill him with the rhythm, chillin' about to make a killin', feelin' always bitter, better stack it to the ceiling. Yeah. Haters over there, we're not aware of you. Rockin' with my boy Shawnee, a character. Rep the red, white, and blue in America.